UN military troops and intensely outfitted vehicles have entered the lanes of Chicago as experts proclaim military law on the city. In spite of the landing of the military watching the lanes, there is an aggregate predominant press power outage. As indicated by neighborhood radio station WCKG 1530 AM, the station was taken off air when troops landed, with different stations announcing a similar destiny. The station's administrator, Matt Dubiel, claims they were taken off air after they circulated a report by Alex Jones that definite reports of troops on the ground. IntelliHub.com reports, over 50 intensely defensively covered United Nations vehicles and different bits of hardware, generators, and so on, sufficiently adequate to help a little organization of peacekeeper troops are perched on the deck behind a U.S. government-possessed distribution center and seem, by all accounts, to be prepared for some kind of fast local sending. The vehicles are stopped in the back parking area of a stockroom building situated at 11841 Newgate Boulevard. They are altogether painted white and bear the letters UN. Automaton film caught by a private administrator was transferred to the Stock Board Asset YouTube channel on September 4, which gives a 10,000 foot perspective of the extent of the combat hardware. The sensation disclosure by Alistair Williamson makes one wonder. What are these vehicles going to be utilized for? As I provided details regarding Sunday, the Cook County Commissioner, Chicago, as of late met with the UN Undersecretary with an end goal to get UN troops conveyed onto the boulevards locally to control the current spike in viciousness. However, a few, similar to myself, think about whether this all isn't some kind of plan prepared by Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel or previous President Barack Obama who have solid connections to the city and have just pushed motivation that will permit the arrangement of UN troops on U.S. soil which at last would avoid posse comitatus.